Hello friends, welcome to the next lecture in the lecture series on engineering drawing. Before we begin with the next lecture, I request you all to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. So welcome to lecture number 9 on problems on projection of points. So in the previous lecture, we have seen a problem wherein we had multiple points situated in multiple quadrants and how to do the projections of those points on a common XY line. So today we shall see few more problems on projections of points having different difficulty levels. So here is the next problem. A point 30 mm above XY line is the front view of three points P, Q and R. The top view of R is 40 mm above XY line. Point Q lies on VP. Point P is 45 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the points and state the quadrants in which the points are situated. So we shall see how to solve this particular problem. It is one of the very important and confusing type of problems where students tend to get confused in the wordings given in the problem and tend to make mistake. So today we shall clearly see how to solve this problem and avoid doing such mistakes. So here the first step is to draw the XY line. So again your XY line should be an intermediate thick line. So let me write X and Y. Now it is clearly given in the problem that a point 30 mm above XY line is the front view of three points P, Q and R. So first let us draw this front view which is 30 mm above the XY line. So by now you should know the procedure. So we take this 30 mm line here that is we take this 30 mm line coinciding with XY line and locate the point on the 0 mm line and draw a thin projection line. So this is the front view of three points P, Q and R. So let me write this P dash in the bracket Q dash comma R dash. So what does this mean? So Q dash and R dash lie behind this P dash that is this is a single point which is nothing but the front view of three points. So there are one, two and three points lying one behind the other. Next we'll go to the next sentence. The top view of R is 40 mm above XY line. So 40 mm above XY line they have given is the top view of point R. So let us locate that point. So locating this 40 on the XY line. At the 0 mm line I locate the point. Draw the projection line and this will be the top view of point R. So I'll just write it as R. So next they have given point Q lies on VP. Point Q lies on VP. So if any point lies on VP we have seen in the top view the top view of that point will lie on XY line. So here point Q will be on XY line. So I'll mark this as point Q. Next Point P is 45 mm in front of VP. Now to understand this particular sentence we will just see where is the front view of point P located. So front view of point P is located above XY line. This means that point P is above horizontal plane. Do you agree with this? Because any distance above the horizontal plane will give you the front view of that point. So here point P is above the horizontal plane. So if 
the front view of point P is 30 mm above XY line. So we can say point P is 30 mm above HP. So first thing you understood. So point P is now 30 mm above HP. Also what is given in the problem? Point P is 45 mm in front of VP. So it is given that it is in front of VP and here through the drawing you found out that it is above HP. So above HP in front of VP the point lies in first quadrant. So for the first quadrant the top view comes on horizontal plane and horizontal plane is below XY line. So we draw this top view below XY line. So by what distance it will be below XY line? 45 mm below XY line. So keeping the zero on the XY line I shall draw this 45 mm line here. This is 40, this is 45, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. So this will be point P. Okay. So with this, whatever the given statements are there, we have drawn. So let us first dimension this. So you know the procedure of dimensioning drawing a light parallel uh, uh, line parallel to xy line so this is 40 this is 30 and this is 45 okay so with this we complete the sketching of this problem but in the problem statement there is a question asked state the quadrants in which the points are situated so we have already seen point P is in first quadrant do you agree with this because it is above HP and in front of VP. Now what about point Q? Point Q, again its front view is above XY line means what? It is above HP. Then what it is given? It is lying on vertical plane. That means point Q is either in first and second quadrant. So point Q is in first and second quadrant both. Now coming to point R. Now R again is above HP. Okay. Point R is above HP because its front view is above XY line. So point R is above HP. Top view is also above XY line. So that means what? Top view lies on HP and HP is above XY line. So for which quadrant is the horizontal plane above XY line? For the first and second quadrant. So in this case, since this point R is also above XY line and uh, top view of R is also above XY line and front view of R is also above XY line, we can say point R is in second quadrant. Did you get it? So this was one of the important type of problem, a very, very important type of problem in engineering drawing. So we will we'll move to next problem. Okay, so the next problem over here is one of the again important type of problem. So it is a point A is on HP and 35 mm in front of VP. Another point B is on VP and below HP. The line joining their front views make an angle of 30 degrees to XY line while the line joining the top views make an angle 45 degrees with XY line. Find the distance of point B from HP. So this particular problem we shall start to solve. So the first step here is we should draw the XY line which is again an intermediate thick line. So we'll just locate the projection of point A. 
So point A is on HP. So in the front view, we see that point A on XY line. So I write this as A dash and 35 mm in front of VP. So this point is either in the first quadrant or in the fourth quadrant because it is lying on HP and it is in front of VP. So for both the quadrants, we will have the top view below XY line. So we shall draw this top view that is it is 35 mm in front of VP. So from this point at a distance of 35 mm, I'll get the top view of this point. So this say A. Another point B is on VP and below HP, but you don't know where to locate this. But to locate that, what is given is a line joining their front views makes an angle of 30 degrees to XY line. So here I have a front view. Okay. So I have to first draw a 30 degree line to the XY line. So here making use of the protractor. So I'll keep this protractor exactly aligning the XY line and this projection line and I shall locate this 30 degrees over here. Now from this front view, I shall draw a construction line. Now this line has to be a thin line. We have seen this application of thin line. So it is a thin line. Next, what he says, the line joining the top views make an angle 45 degrees with XY line. So you have a top view here and you will get another top view over somewhere on the XY line. But that line joining these top views makes 45 degrees with XY line. But suppose if I draw a horizontal line parallel to XY line and then take a line 45 degrees to it, will it not be 45 degrees to XY line? It will be because this construction line is parallel to XY line. So again taking the protractor, positioning it accurately, we shall locate this 45 degrees over here. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. Join this 45 degree point and the top view with a straight line. This is done. Now we can locate the position of the second point. How? Point B is on VP. That means its top view will be on XY line. And where that top view will be? Wherever this 45 degree line from the top view of point A intersects the XY line, you will get top view of point B. So where will be the front view of point B? It will be exactly below B on this 30 degree line. So from B, I'll draw a straight line downwards. So this will be point B dash. Now we need to determine the distance of point B from HP. That is, we need to determine this particular distance. So we'll first do all the required dimensioning. So here point A was 35 mm in front of VP. So this is 35. This angle was 30 degrees. Whereas this angle was 45 degrees. And we have to measure and determine this dimension. So keeping the scale, I'll keep the 0 mm on the XY line. This length comes somewhere around 22 mm. So this is 22 mm. So we can say here the distance of point B from HP is 22 mm. So I shall just zoom this figure so you can clearly understand how the solution is done.
so with this we finish the lecture number 9 on projection of points we have one more important problem which is to be solved we will see that in the next lecture so thank you for patient listening please like and share this video with your friends and please subscribe to this channel mechanical engineering tutorials thank you